Hi there, my name is Michael, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Android phone screenshot template for Photoshop that you can get from applypixels.com. With this template, you can very quickly render the different Android screenshot sizes from a single size. It includes Google Pixel and Nexus 6P device mockup so that you can put screenshots in your screenshots. Yo dog. And it has one-click export actions of up to five separate individual screenshots in three sizes. That means that you'll be able to export 15 screenshots with just one button. In short, this tool is going to save you a lot of time when you're preparing screenshots for Google Play. What you need is a copy of Photoshop and this folder downloaded from applypixels.com. Inside the folder, you'll find the template PSD file and an actions file. Before we do anything, remember to import the actions. You do that by double-clicking the ATN file. And in Photoshop, you should now be able to find the actions you just imported in the actions pane. And if you're not seeing the actions pane, you can always find them by going to Window and finding actions. Okay, let's make some screenshots. Let's open up the main template PSD file. And that looks something like this. On Android, there are obviously multiple screen resolutions, but here are three of the most popular and common ones. In the smaller end of the scale, we've got a 768 by 1280, primarily used on Nexus 4. We've got a 1080 by 1920, good old, uh, used by Nexus 5 and many other phones. And finally, we've got a 1440 by 2560, for example, used on Nexus 6. Now the idea behind this template and many of my other templates is to edit the largest size and have the other sizes automatically render out. So let's get started. In the right hand side, you'll find the layers pane. Here you'll find the layer called Edit Me and Save. You'll right click that and find Edit Contents, or you could just double click it. That opens up the screenshot PSB file. It's in here that you'll create your screenshot. This nested smart object has a couple of neat tricks up its sleeve. Let's just go through some of them. First of all, you'll notice this tiny little red area down here, which says cropped on Nexus 4. That's because on the Nexus 4, the aspect ratio of the screenshots is different from the ratio that we're looking at right now. Feel free to create your screenshot and not care about this, but just know that everything within this area will be cropped on those smaller screenshots. In the layers pane, you can obviously disable this crop folder. It's just a guide and there to help you. Below the crop folder, you'll notice that there's five different screenshot folders. Screenshot one, two, three, four, and five. Now you don't have to use all of these folders, but it is very important that all the work that you do stay within the folder structure. So if you're working on a screenshot, don't place any layers outside of that screenshot folder. Let's just make one screenshot to begin with, and I'll show you how to use the other screenshot folders after that. Now the folder has a couple of neat little building blocks. First of all, you can very easily add some text to your screenshot. Some people like to put a little description in there. And under that, you'll notice that there's both a Google Pixel and a Nexus 6P device rendering. And if you drill down into the Google Pixel, you'll also notice that you can get it in either blue and in white and in gray. Now you don't really have to use any of these things. You could just paste your screenshot inside this entire canvas, save it and call it a day. But if you felt inclined to actually uh, place a screenshot inside this device, some people like to do that, uh, it gets a little inception, a screenshot inside a screenshot. Um, but if you want to do that, you can go and find the nested smart object called place your screenshot here, right click and hit edit contents. That opens up yet another nested smart object. And uh, you could just paste your screenshot in here, save it, and it would render inside the device. I don't really have a screenshot on hand right now, but just to show you that it actually works, we can change the color of the background. Uh, let's go with like a, a beautiful yellow here. Uh, we'll save that out and we'll close it. And now you can see it's actually rendered inside the device. The last thing to note in the screenshot folder is this background folder. Now, right now there's a gradient and there's uh, two solids. You can uh, disable the gradient and we can maybe change the solid into something. Let's go with a cool dark blue, right? And we can also change the Google Pixel to be the white and blue one. Really like that one. And let's just add a little description here. We're not gonna get too creative. Yellow, fantastic. Let's go ahead and hide the crop folder so that we don't get that on our screenshot. I'm gonna save it out. And once that's saved, you can close it up and now all of the different sizes have been rendered out. That is pretty cool. And if you wanted to just export this, you can go and find the actions we just imported and find the one called export single screenshot and hit play. And if you look at your desktop or wherever you saved it, you can find a folder called Android phone screenshot files. 
And if you open up that folder, you'll find the three different screenshot sizes. That is pretty cool. Now let's dive back into the template. I want to show you one last thing. Okay, what if you wanted to do five individual screenshots in all three sizes, 15 screenshots in total? Well, you can do that. Let's jump back into the smart object. And again, we've been working in the screenshot one folder, but as I told you before, there's a screenshot two, three, four, and five. So let's just go ahead and hide screenshot one. And you'll notice that the screenshot two folder comes with the exact same building blocks as the previous one. And we can go ahead and we can edit this. Let's go in and uh, change this background into a beautiful red. Save that out. Change the background again into blue. Change the description to red and so on. We could go ahead and we can do, you know, screenshot two or screenshot three and four and five. I'm not going to do that. You get the idea. As I said before, the important thing is that you don't place any layers outside of this structure, that you don't rename the folders in any way. All the artwork, whether you just paste them inside the screenshot folder or you use the embedded smart object to place them inside the device, it all needs to stay within the screenshot folder. Make sure that all of them are visible when you save and exit the smart object. I'm going to close it up again. And now we're going to find the action called export five screenshots. I'm going to go ahead and run that. This action takes a bit longer. You might want to go ahead and grab a cup of coffee or something. And it's done. Now if we go to our desktop, you'll find the folder called Android Phone Screenshot Files. And inside the folder, you'll find five subfolders, each with their own screenshot files inside them. This is the first screenshot, the yellow one we made. This is the second screenshot, the red one we made. And the third and the fourth and the fifth. We didn't actually make any changes to those, but they're still here. And uh, if you don't need them, you can delete them. So that is how you use the Android phone screenshot template. It is a really useful tool that will save you a ton of time when you go through that very time consuming part of the project, which is creating screenshots for your app. Now you can get this template and other cool design resources by becoming a subscribing member at applypixels.com. I really hope this helps you make better and faster screenshots. Thanks for watching.